Hi, I'm Dan Bradbury, Chief Product Officer at UpGuard. Welcome to our final product spotlight for 2023. Today, I'll run through some of the great new features we're launching, including automated product detection and product-based risk assessments. I'll also tell you about some of the features we're currently working on, including advanced typo squatting detection and improvements to our AI questionnaire autofill. Let's start with the features we're launching. The first is a way to automatically detect products and therefore vendors that you're using. Your external attack surface reveals a lot about the products and vendors you use. For instance, the IP address of your website can tell someone which cloud provider you're using. Inspecting the HTML of your website reveals even more. Meta tags may indicate what type of web server you're running or maybe the content management system you're using. So we've built a product detection engine that uses this information to provide a list of products and corresponding vendors that are visible from your external attack surface. There are a few ways this can help you. First, it helps identify vendors you're using but not actively monitoring in UpGuard. Second, it can detect shadow IT where people in your company are using software products without going through the right approval process. And third, it can help you respond more effectively to zero-day exploits because you better understand how a product is being used within your company. Our product detection engine is currently able to detect over a thousand products and we're adding more all the time. As we roll out this feature, look for a new detected products menu item in UpGuard Breach Site. The second feature I want to mention is support for product-based risk assessments. As a reminder, the risk assessment feature in UpGuard provides a central point for conducting vendor security assessments. Whenever you assess a vendor, it captures the date this occurred, the evidence you reviewed, remediation activities, correspondence you had with the vendor, and any notes you made. In other words, it provides a comprehensive audit trail of your assessment activities. This includes creating multiple versions over time, which lets you capture the full history. One limitation though, is that you can only create one assessment per vendor. Most of the time this is fine, but there are cases where you might be using multiple products or services from the same company and want to assess these separately. So we're adding the ability to create multiple risk assessments per vendor structured around products and services. For a company like Microsoft, for instance, you might want separate risk assessments for Office 365 and Azure because the risk profile of each is different for your company. For each risk assessment, you can select the evidence, including the specific domains that relate to the product or service you're assessing. Product-based risk assessments provide even more flexibility in how you assess your vendors. And the final feature I want to mention is the integration of SIG into the platform. We've heard from a number of customers that they want to use SIG-based questionnaires to assess their vendors, particularly SIG Lite. We're also operating in an environment in which regulatory requirements are increasing. And the SIG question set is already mapped to over 20 regulatory standards and frameworks, with more being added every year. So I'm thrilled to announce we've integrated the SIG question set into our platform and as the first step, have added a SIG Lite questionnaire to our library. Over time, we're looking forward to adding more SIG-based questionnaires to increase the number of regulatory standards and frameworks we support. These are just a few of the features launching this quarter. For the full list, check out upguard.com releases. I'll now talk about some of the future features we're working on. The first one is advanced typo squatting detection. Our typo squatting module lets you monitor permutations of your domains to identify where you're susceptible to typo squatting attacks. This includes helping you identify domains you should proactively register, alerting you when these domains get registered by someone else, and identifying changes that can indicate typo squatting activity, like when a domain starts being used to receive email or run a website. We're working on a number of enhancements to the typo squatting module, 
in order to provide even better protection. One of these is to look at the reputation of the IP addresses that domains point to. This will alert you when a domain similar to yours points to an IP address that's been flagged for things like hosting malware or sending spam, which can be a strong signal of typo squatting activity. We're also improving the way we integrate newly registered domain detection to alert you whenever a new domain is a close match to one of yours. And when typo squatting activity is detected, we're making it easier for you to take action by linking directly to the registrar's abuse pages. We're working on a number of other typo squatting improvements, so stay tuned. Another feature we're working on is our AI autofill for questionnaires. The initial version we launched last quarter helps vendors complete questionnaires more quickly by automatically suggesting answers based on their previous responses. This is not limited to questionnaires they've previously completed within UpGuard. Vendors can upload any spreadsheet containing questions and answers in order to give our model more data to work with. This feature has proved hugely successful and we've seen cases where up to 80% of questions have been automatically answered. We're continuing to build on this capability and this quarter we're expanding the types of documents vendors can upload to generate answers. At the moment, it's limited to previous questionnaire responses, but vendors often have other documentation that can help answer questions. This includes things like policy documents and audit reports. So we're working on enabling vendors to upload a wider set of documents in order to increase the amount of answers that can be automatically generated. AI Autofill has proven so powerful that a number of our users have asked about using it to answer questionnaires they've been sent outside the UpGuard platform. It's early days, but we're working on a way to let users import incomplete questionnaires, use AI Autofill to answer them, and export them when they're done. We've put a lot of effort into making it easier for vendors to complete questionnaires because this is one of the big friction points when our customers conduct vendor assessments. But assessing a vendor requires more than just sending a questionnaire. So we're continuing to look for ways to make the whole process more efficient. For instance, we think the same AI-based techniques we've used to help vendors complete questionnaires can be used to map vendor responses to security frameworks and even write risk assessment reports. We think of this as AI assess, and it's one of the features we're currently working on. While we're still working through some of the details, our goal is clear, and that is to significantly reduce the effort required to conduct a risk assessment. One of the areas we're looking to apply AI assess is our own TPRM service where we conduct vendor risk assessments on behalf of our customers. This service has proven more popular than we ever imagined. The conclusion we've come to is that the combination of our highly experienced analyst team with the AI assess feature we're developing will let us produce standardized risk assessment reports at significant scale. As part of this, we're investigating an exchange style model where completed risk assessment reports are instantly available within the platform. We think of this as version two of our TPRM service. And if you're interested, our product team would be happy to talk more about what we're planning. And the final feature I want to briefly mention is regional data storage. With growing awareness around data security and privacy, we're seeing increased demand from our customers to be able to choose where their data is stored. So we're working on a comprehensive regional data storage solution where all the data related to your UpGuard account, from the vendors you monitor to the data leaks we detect for your company, can be stored in your local geography. We're still a few months away from completing this work, but it's well underway. So that gives you a taste of a few of the features we're working on. Let me finish with a quick recap. Over the last quarter, we've added a number of great new features. And today I discussed automated product detection, product-based risk assessments, and the SIG Light questionnaire. And as always, we're working on some exciting new features. 
including typo squatting improvements, AI autofill enhancements, AI assess, and regional data storage. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and please let us know if you have any questions.